Remembering 60 years back is hard for anyone, but for Melvin Amrine, the groom in these pictures, it's especially challenging. Did I invite you to marry me or did you ask me? No, no, you asked me to no, marry oh, you. Oh, is that right? Melvin was diagnosed with Alzheimer's three years ago. Some of that is kind of lost. For his wife, Doris, it's been hard to watch. But she says something happened recently to remind her that the man she fell in love with is still in there. It's special because even though the mind doesn't remember everything, the heart remembers. Okay. It happened the day before Mother's Day, when Melvin, who normally needs help just walking around the block, turned up missing. I see a white male by the name of Melvin Amrine. Police dispatch here in Little Rock, Arkansas, put out the call. He left the house walking approximately 40 minutes ago. They eventually found him two miles from his house. Police say they get these calls every once in a while of an Alzheimer's patient out wandering aimlessly. But this one was different. When the officers approached Melvin, they say it was clear. He was a man on a mission. It was absolutely a moment of clarity for him. Sergeant Brian Grigsby and Officer Troy Dillard say even though Melvin didn't know his address or where he'd come from, he absolutely knew where he was going. I mean, he, he was pretty adamant. He wasn't going home until he got those flowers. Flowers? That's what he wanted. He wanted flowers for his wife because uh, tomorrow was Mother's Day. Melvin had bought flowers for his wife every Mother's Day since the birth of their first child. And he wasn't going to disappoint her now. We had to get those flowers. We had to get them. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. So after telling dispatch, they were taking the man right home. And there's the Kroger's. The officers secretly stopped by the grocery store. Surveillance video shows them helping Melvin pick out the flowers. And when Melvin came up short at the register, look who slipped the cashier the difference. Meanwhile, back at home, a very worried wife was about to get the gift of a lifetime. As he came up those steps, and I saw those roses and the smile on his face, I mean, I just broke inside. I just said, thank you, thank you, because I saw his heart. Amazing what's possible when love becomes an instinct.